This video is brought to you by Andontix. Andontix employs custom-made, digital growth strategies to help you take your deep technology business to the next level. To learn more, visit www.andontix.com. Thank you, and enjoy the video. My name is Avdita Sharma, and today I'm here with Ilka Varios, the CTO of Kanatu. Hey, Ilka, thanks for coming on the show today. Hi, thanks for having me. Coming to my first question, can you walk us through your experience with the development of carbon nanomaterials, the process, what's easy, what's hard? Sure. So I work for a company Kanatu, and uh, Kanatu has developed this uh, unique process of making carbon nanotube-based thin films and products. We rely on this uh, patented dry printing process that eliminates the need of dispersing C and D's, so these carbon nanotubes, into a liquid. This is because the dispersion phase is detrimental to these carbon nanotubes. It, it basically breaks them. So by utilizing this dry printing process, uh, we can preserve the integrity and purity of the carbon nanotubes and thus, uh, thus uh, provide better uh, product performance. Then what is easy or what is hard? Well, I'm not sure if there's particularly anything particularly easy when it comes to uh, making nanomaterials, but uh, perhaps you could say that it's easy to make the material for the first time in a small scale in a laboratory, but it's difficult to scale this up uh, effectively and be able to tame your process so that you are constantly producing same or material with the same quality, same properties over and over again, like 24, 7, 365 days per year. I completely understand. And that brings me to my next question. What are the most complex problems Kanatu has solved till date? Well, in terms of the nanomaterial manufacturing, it's been the fact that we have been able to effectively scale and successfully scale our process to an industrial scale. But uh, we have done that while not only keeping the material properties constant, but actually improving the material properties significantly while we, we, we have been scaling. In addition, uh, we have been able to tame the process so that we can produce the material of same quality constantly. And we have also been able to fully automate, automate this uh, unique process that we have. So what comes out of this process is uh, quality checked CNTs on a substrate ready to be further converted using standard industrial manufacturing tools. Can you dive deeper into how you ensure quality and consistency? Well, having precise online process controls is one of the key things. But equally important is to have the metrology available that enables you to not only see to the macroscopic scale, but also into nanoscopic phenomena so that you can truly understand what is happening in the process and uh, in the material. And while the process can be unique, you should still rely on the best industrial practices for process and quality control. So basically, there's no need to reinvent the wheel if the wheel has already been invented. Of course, you know what they say, don't change a winning team. What about new carbon nanomaterials though? How are they developed from ideation to production? It takes time and devotion. You need to have the best personnel and use the best engineering practices. While nowadays tools such as computer aided uh, simulations exist, uh, you still cannot sort of skip steps so scale from laboratory scale to huge industrial scale in an instance you you or if you try to do so then you will face big risks for sure the essentials are always necessary regardless of any advancements that may come by my final question is what do you envision the future of the industry to be like and what impact do you see it having on other industries wow this is a big question and something i could discuss for hours but I believe that carbon nanotubes and nanocarbons in general, they will have a transformative effect on, on the world as a whole. And we have currently just scratched the surface. And in a nutshell, you could say that uh, after a couple of decades, there are hardly any areas in life that would not be touched by way or the other by these nanocarbon materials. 
I can't wait for that time to come. And as far as my questions go, those are all the questions I have for today. So thank you so much for your time, Ilka.